Hey everyone, Stega here, and today I'm starting a new series called Hunterville. It will be set on this map, which I've built a mountain over here, kind of trying to follow Flunk's Trance's tutorial that he did on the City Skylines YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago. And there's also like a hill over here that is going to kind of be the backdrop to the city, and I also might have some suburbs sitting up on top of it, or up parts of it anyway. The city's kind of going to be set around here, or at least the central part is. I've already built a couple of episodes, so I have an idea of how, how things look. I was originally thinking of like having the city over here, and then having like a branch off this main line that went to the city, but it didn't really make much sense to me, so I decided not to. Um, I've spent a bit of time on these interchanges, trying to get them like really smooth, um, kind of transition off of the highway that I don't know if that's just the corner or if it's actually steep but, um, I think it's just the corner makes it look a bit weird but I'll probably change all this stuff around later like since this highway was kind of made to uh, work if the city was over here but it's not so I'm probably gonna like completely reroute it at some point but anyways, I did work on this interchange here, and it's got like a quite a smooth um, ramps and stuff, and also this one over here which connects to another outside connection, and that also has like smooth slope, that's the word I'm looking for, slope, and yeah, it just works really well, and there's a bridge over here that goes across this river. It's nice and flat so that the uh, cars don't like have to climb any too difficult hills or anything. And uh, this hill is probably the steepest part of the highway, it's still reasonably flat. And with the railway I tried to um, stick to like a 1% gradient so it's really easy for the trains to travel along. And since I did this all before I built the city or anything it was a lot easier to do and figure out where the train would go. And there's like a little bridge over here that the train track goes under. But I think that's pretty much it for uh, this map. And soon we'll head into the actual time lapse of this video. So the first thing I did was get rid of all the fertile land because it's like really bright and is there for playability but not so much for aesthetics. And now I'm starting on the road layout which is kind of based off uh, Palmerston North in New Zealand which has the big square in the middle. And yeah I was just using this because like, I've been there multiple times and I also like the like grid layout because it is like a downtown and it does have a good grid layout and uh, soon I'll be getting on to plopping down the train station uh, using the railway replacer mod to kind of change the train tracks around and so I did that for two of the train tracks and then for the other two they're the metro overhaul mod train tracks so I'll have like a train system and a metro system coming into the station and the train tracks eventually connect up to the uh, main railway line not in this episode and not for a few episodes time but they will eventually and also there'll be some metro tracks coming off of here too and here I'm just trying to address this little height difference with some stairs when I find them here we go and um, then just yeah, trying to address the height differences, and uh, so with the map anyways, I'm using the Wet Temperate theme by Ivania, and it kind of works for now, um, where I'm up to now, like I've recorded about six episodes, and I'm kind of thinking that the, te the grass texture is slightly a bit too yellow. Like, you can't really see it in this episode because it was, like, so early on that, um, everything is, like, completely different. I think, like, in the opening shot here it was, like, really bright, but I've been tweaking with things since then and it looks better now anyway. And also, I think in this episode I was using, like, Relight Cool, I think, and it kind of made everything look slightly blue and... 
later on in a few episodes time or it might be next episode I can't remember but I changed to relight warm as the light and um, so with the map it actually and there's like one prop in it so like you don't have to worry about the prop limit for ages because there's like nothing else in here it's literally just like user generated like user placed props but there's like 160,000 trees or something to kind of make up for that and just add all that forest in that you might have seen. And um, so let's get back to what I'm doing on screen. Uh, I placed down the Malmo Central train station by Beard Monkey, I think is the one that I used. I think Taser used it in like Rainmont or actually I think he's used it in like parts of it in Brunswold as well. And here I'm just using the linden trees by Mr. Mason and putting them in some planters to kind of make a nice entrance and also making a taxi stand out front and like a dedicated taxi lane and putting down some lines to kind of separate that out and like cover up the uh, center lines on the main road. And I'm uh, just tweaking around with this and you would have seen me place some benches down and out the front too for like people to wait at and now i'm just placing down the taxi like markings on the road and i'll go through with traffic manager and disable all the other traffic so that only the taxis go through that lane and now i'm starting on like a bus station sort of thing for next to the train station i don't like detail any like bus stops or anything around here today I just get the road down and do some lane markings and things but I imagine that the city would have like a comprehensive bus network eventually like it's kind of hard to even decide like anywhere that things are going to go when there's like nothing here yet so I can't really set things up until like or well into the future but it'll be here anyway for when the time does come and yeah, I'm just using these uh, line networks to uh, do the edges of these lane markings and then getting some decals and plopping them down in between. Oh no, I'm actually detailing this uh, crossing first so that like cars are meant to stop. Uh, as you may notice by the location of these markings, we're driving on the left hand side of the road. This is mainly just because I'm from New Zealand and my initial thoughts for this um, city would be based off like New Zealand or Australia or something but now after doing a few episodes and stuff and working out how the city will look I'm not really sure if it's going to be based off anything like it'll take influences from like New Zealand and Australia as well as America and other places but it's just kind of going to be a generic city not really based off anywhere in particular apart from the fact that it's driving on the left hand side of the road so I, I guess that's the one thing that might make it different from some other places out there. I know that like $2.20 Springwood series is also driving on the left because he's Australian and I guess it works for him, although it's kind of one of those funny things where he tried making an American city and it was driving on the left, but I, I, I don't really know where this city is set. I was thinking New Zealand in the first place, but once I got some of the skyline down in the coming episodes, it doesn't really look New Zealand it kind of kind of does but it doesn't at the same time like there's one one building that it ends up standing out anyway I'm getting like way too ahead of myself I'm telling you stuff that won't even happen in this episode so I'm just doing the other end of that bus station now and doing the lines again and trying to get them to line up and um, as you can see there's also like a regular traffic lane going through the middle of this all it's just to kind of connect up with all the other roads that would be connecting through here and you got the buses on each side they can stop and other traffic can go through so I guess it's more just a bus stop than a bus station like what I've just been saying but you know you've got you've got the pedestrian crossings for people to cross the road and get to places and switch between buses and trains and things and so this is like one of the central transit areas like here in the gap I don't really detail it but I kind of want to maybe do some like bus stop stuff at some stage and also add an entrance to a underground metro station so that that could like connect up to another line that runs under the center of the city and the metro lines that are around here on the main station could like run out um, along somewhere else into the suburbs somewhere 
And here I'm just putting these like brick walls for like so people don't walk off the end of the platform. And um, yeah, just going around and trying to get them to the right height that makes sense because it's honestly hard to work with the scale of this game. Like what what looks like okay ends up being like three or four meters tall and you don't realize it. And um, yeah, just tweaking this and putting down some more stairs to address another height difference here because like the station kind of sits a little bit above the ground so I'm just trying to like address that there's like in one of the main entrances there's like a ramp that I did off camera so that like disabled people can still get in but here it's just all stairs and stuff which kind of works and just trying to like work with the uh terrain and stuff because I, I realized I didn't really flatten it over there so I'm just trying to do that and now I'm using the railways with the railway replacer mod to just try and get the to all look nice and also like when you use the nodeless version you can like adjust things to get the curves like perfect without everything kind of glitching out like at the connections it glitches out unless you get it like perfectly like straight and aligned properly but it looks a lot better than like if you don't have that and it's just like the regular tracks doing their own thing and trying to like ma make themselves work but they don't and anyways i i kind of got the idea of the railway replacer mod from acruis i think he's called he he does like oralia and Altengrad. he's got like two two series going which is like really hardcore I don't, I don't think i could ever get to that stage while doing this or at least not while i'm still at university anyway because like i need to find time to make these e one episode a week so that's enough for me um also i suggested to one of the channels that i do watch as a small channel austrian spiders about like using the converting the tracks in the train station for one of his episodes and he thanked me for that like on his channel so i thought that was really nice I might even leave a link to the description of to his channel in the description if you want to go check him out. He's just like reached a hundred subscribers like last week, so he he was pretty happy about that, and I I, I was too because I've been like giving him tips and things and how how he can like improve his building style and stuff. So that that's good for him. And anyway, now I've placed down some shops and things. They're just low density stuff, like two, three stories max. I think it's only two stories max. And put, putting down these parking lots out the back to try and fill in the space. Uh, my original thought is that maybe the tra train tracks extended along here a bit further and they kind of demolished when they didn't need them anymore. And it got filled up with these parking lots. And here I'm just trying to like cover up the crossings and the like nodes and stuff and using these lines to uh fill that into and i just want to talk about my other series of called fairview i've stopped working on that for the time being but i plan on coming back to it when like either i just want a break from building hunterville or Maybe if like something something means that I can't work on this city for a while, like a broken mod or something, and I just take takes me forever to work it out, and I f figure out that like to keep to trying to upload one one video a week that I need to work on Fairview. Um, anyways, here I was just trying to like hide the par parking lots to uh, you know I, I find them really like annoying. They're all, <laughs> always in like a place that. Um, yeah, they're just really difficult to work with sometimes, especially when you've got like parking lots like this in front of it. It doesn't really make any sense to have them behind, like up right behind the building sometimes too. Like sometimes I do keep them if like it makes sense to. Like the one in the building off to the left of the screen, I think I keep that because the um, road kind of ends there and it makes sense that they could just drive up to that parking lot. And here I was just detailing some tables and umbrellas too, making like a little kind of calf or something that looks out onto this parking lot probably not the greatest place to want to eat with like a parking lot and trains going by every like few minutes or something and this dumpster here to look at too while you eat but anyway it's just like some details because otherwise this area would be pretty bare because I, I don't think I had the expansion joints at this point either and 
like in the few episodes that I have recorded I don't think I used them either I need to like remember to use them but it's just like one of those things that I haven't used much of before and here I'm just like extending this fence along the train track um, and just like filling up these little bits that kind of get created by the surface painter because it like doesn't it like snaps to some sort of grid thing of, that's like part of the way that the map is or something and it just doesn't really look that great most of the time because like unless you're building like a perfect grid that's aligned like north south east west and like the map that you're building on it's like not great to work with so you just kind of have to make either make do or like go into lots of detail trying to like fix it up like here I have I like cut cut out a lot of it but anyways now I'm filling in like some trees and things and here I'm just using like procedural objects to kind of cover up those same problems and just like shifting it over it it doesn't it kind of looks odd because like the texture of the um pavement beside the roads changes a little bit as you get closer to the road whereas with like the pa ploppable pavement converted into procedural objects it doesn't really have the same effect but it still looks okay and here I'm just adding a little playground thing and I just wasn't really sure what else to put here so I thought maybe a playground I mean it's all fenced off from the train tracks so it's not that dangerous I mean there's a bus stop there kids would probably be excited by seeing a bus but anyway we're almost at the end of the video so if you want to comment on uh, maybe some mods that I could use because I'm always searching for like new things to add to the collection I think there's a mod out there that hides the like speed signs but I haven't downloaded that yet I don't think and if you've enjoyed this video leave a like and uh, share this video with other people because my channel is quite small and I re really want it to grow with this series because I've like, put a lot of effort in and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here of course and I hope to see you next week for another episode.